Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the breakfast show, Trade with Trade VSA 360. Now, I do apologize for the slight delay as there was a little bit of hiccup on the technical side, but let's get on to what we have this morning for you. And for those of you who have came and waited, right, I think you will be interested to know that uh, a lot of the things uh, educational sharing in here is part and parcel to share information that we have for you that will helped you to make reasonable kind of return I suppose in trading as the market KLCI has already lifted above the 1500 that's right so many of you who've been following me for a fair bit would have known that I've been telling the group here that we are looking at this breakout but let's get on to what we have for you this morning in our breakfast show now let's get on to our first part of uh, what we're going to be doing this morning in here is the breaking above the 1500 level uh, which we did yesterday and those of you who have been using especially if our members give it a shout out James thank you for coming uh, a shout out for for uh, where we were we did turn the green pentagon on I think today on Wednesday as I said before a lot of the time right on Wednesday night I did talk about it on the pretext on Thursday was typosum our market generally will try to run ahead of the holiday because usually people will take uh, Friday off because Thursday Taipusum was a holiday so they take Friday off so they are away and they don't like to trade and that's where the market actually push and even go higher that's always the case uh, when the market wanted to move up and when people realize it the public then it'll be too late so the key thing is knowing some of these nuances small details that you're able to find out more about the insider buying thank you again for those of you give me a thumbs up in here and a lot of this uh, contribution is due to Pentagon Guidance System which we've been having for some time those of you have been following and if you are new in this channel in here give a shout out and uh, do download the Smart Roby or maybe think about you know uh, subscribing to the VSA 360 for our premium membership now VSA 360 has done a lot of the hard work in here if you want to find out more about being how our members are doing much much better than the average trader and Joe and if you have struggled over some time being a good trader investor maybe it's time to consider joining our premium membership in here now our VACSA 360 in here have many of the analytics that will benefit you and giving you one step ahead of the public use that chaos code to find out more and of course also explore our 360 virtual trading where we can gauge the kind of uh, need assessment you need to and of course our breakfast show that we do every monday on the uh odd week odd monday will be our u.s market in the even week will be so check out those of you especially are looking to invest in the u.s market a good platform will be the u.s smart roby platform which also have the klci in it check it out you can download it from the google as well as the uh, Apple Play Store in here. Now, VSA 360 also come with insider buying selling, giving you the inside edge they don't have. Now, a little bit on the positive side of the news, I think the KLCI are looking to go higher as the confirmation from the Bank Negara is already here on the news that interest rate will be on hold, like to stay at 3% view. And we all know, being also a property investor myself, when they raise interest rate, you'll be really scratching your head. Wow, raise interest rate, had to pay some more, and then rental is so very low, isn't it? I'm sure many of you have gone through this kind of experience like I do in here. So definitely with the interest rate on hold, this was also spur the property sectors and again driven by the construction sector which we have seen some of the big projects MRT3, HSR, ECRL that are ongoing being bid up that also making many of the construction sector in the KLCI booming referring back to 2013 where we've seen the KLCI market actually boom because of the construction so I do see a possibly six to seven percent uh, return for the KLCI for this year even though right now in January uh, 26 I'm giving that kind of prediction because you can also have a good feel like I've been in the market for so long so that's why the market is able to pitch up but so far the KLCI is already up four percent when we are talking about six percent in here so it's going to be a level where the market will go up and go down it's not going to go straight up to 40 percent like we've seen on the u.s market so keep in mind this kind of uh you know uh back information on the back of your head to know about this too 
Now, of course, let's take a look at the VSA 360, uh, which we have. And uh, right now, uh, of course, these those of the member who have this, very important, make sure you go over to the Knowledge Center. And this is where our uh, knowledge, our trading, our information, experiences, all are shared in this repository in here. You can check it out, a monthly orientation. You can also uh, Google the kind of questions that we have and also look into the category, which as a member, and if you intend to join it, that will definitely kickstart you and put you into the next level in here. So this is where uh, I think more important is getting that knowledge, getting that education that many of our member done so and they have, you know, sort of uh, really done pretty well. So KLCI turned green Pentagon. You can see Hang Seng has also turned green Pentagon. Dow Jones is just a matter of time turning green Pentagon. And I do think uh, going forward, uh, maybe uh, today after the market had done the processing, it will turn uh, green Pentagon very, very soon. So what we are really keen on looking right now is the... Uh, uh, for, for start, we want to look at the uh, alert center. All right, you can see many turning green pentagon. B Auto actually turned green pentagon surprisingly, right? Because many of the segments are saying like the growth are, are, are already there, are picking, the demands are picking because of the SSD. SL West, again, uh, also turned green pentagon. So check out those. Homeless turned green pentagon. Yin Sun, Kenangan, these are, and, but no one turned green pentagon. Tune Pro. Has turned green bank on, so that is also beneficial for the finance sector, which I did talk about on Wednesday. Check out the Wednesday segment in here, and you'll find a couple of stocks. So, at least some of this information that I'm sharing with you will give you a head start where to look for stocks that is likely to continue the trend rather than you hear, say, hear, there. And I think many of you would have known if you go through that path. Usually, it always ends up as disaster. It's always good to have data, analytics, have uh, some sort of uh, price and volume, volume spread, nice to back up a lot of your trading in here. And always, it will make sense to do it that way too. All right, now going back to uh, the, the dashboard, as I said before in here, you can see uh, technology is strengthening. Okay, that's pretty good, right? Uh, and utility are dropping out. And of course, no other than our KLCI sector right for the uh, for the VSA tricks is important so you can see from here uh, of course my favorite sector will always be uh, the uh, technology technology turn and you can see right now just that's a very strong two bar reversal here ready to pick up so that technology another one will be uh, construction all right looking to break back into the 210 level in here this is the construction index and not to forget finance which already which is yeah very very similar to the klci because they are the largest cap stock i mean which means the klci are uh, made up of the finance so finance seems to do well uh energy sector you can see also turning up so give and take next week by the time you come back and watch this again everything will be in green pentagon that's for sure in here but you can look at utility has been up almost 20 over percent you can see this is the, the the stocks that you know really push up and you can see also we have uh confirmed no supply one of the strength that you see coming in here so definitely very positive and of course no surprises why many of our members of our members or the vsa 360 who follow a system who follow a plan who follow and come for the live training uh, that we do on every Monday night tend to do better than the average. Of course, we'll also talk about that. And again, let's take a look at the seasonal monthly return for our KLCI. And you can see right now we are at 3.4% return just for that first month. And uh, hopefully, like just similar in 2018, uh, we, we didn't get the kind of sell-off that we have. And I don't think we are likely to do so, as I said before backed by the uh, construction uh, sector, which is also backed by the Malaysian Bandami. Of course, you will see political turmoil along the road, where we also have the opposition trying to throw the spana into the moving court to slow down whatever the case is. And I think right now you can see many uh, big fishes are being investigated. And I think the cleaning up of the so-called uh, cleaner government, I suppose, and uh, a flow investment, but you can also uh, see in some of the news uh, that our economy is pretty much packed to 
the Chinese economy. I think that was on the Star Business this morning in here. And uh, whenever they say that, look, if the China uh, catches uh, uh, catches a cold, we uh, sneezes. Uh, sneeze, then Malaysia will catch us a go, which is quite true. And that's why we have seen also the ringgit uh, closely packed to the Chinese yuan. We have seen also uh, what I have explained previously in the uh, live FB session about the uh, conclusion of the January 13 Taiwan election, right? They were expecting either DPP versus Kuomintang or Kuomintang. Uh, if the Kuomintang were to win, then you'll see the rally in the Chinese market. But we didn't see that because President Choi, which is the incumbent president, able to pass the baton to his predecessor, which is William Lai, and running the Taiwan, which is still pretty much pro-US against China. And then you can see China Y uh, is still pretty much in a down one. But presidency in action, to spur the stock market because I think he's in a way anti-economy uh, prosperity. <laughs> it's more into the family orientated, more into that, you know, trying to get the so-called uh, accolade from the party of the CCP. And that's what the, the stock market hasn't been doing that. It's a matter of whether the policies uh, going back to 2015 intervention by the uh, CCP party to intervene in the stock market. If you do get that, then you'll see the stock market of the uh, China goes up. Then our ringgit will also improve. And then you'll see likelihood the KLCI. So right now, KLCI is banking on, on the foreign fund flows, which is really coming in from the uh, flow. I, my, my theory is they're coming in the flow from the wind that, you, that they have in here. So uh, again, if you look at here, the uh, foreign funds is flowing in back to 170 million and that's why we cracked to. The only way the market's likely to go higher is breaking above the uh, uh, 1500 and foreign funds coming in. I think that's all you should low into that. Of course, many of the good stock like uh, Ada Run up 42% since 20th February being some of the uh, Pentagon guider, uh, green Pentagon winner. All right, so that's possibility something that uh, will help you. Now let's look at the market in here right now. I would say has broken into what we call a stage two. Let me just uh, just make this amendment in here. Okay, stage two markup right now. You can see broke through here the green Pentagon, and that's fairly positive. We've got one, two, three. So the schematic diagram is always better. As I show in here, a continuation of an uptrend here, broken for the third time. And where is it heading into? First stop will be at least 1525, which is around here. You could see this morning the market had broke through very nicely. Third time, sign of more bullishness. And also, you will notice the average uh, volume that is breaking up is quite uh, reasonable, not too high. We don't want to be too high. So that tells you the momentum is really coming in. You get it first on uh, trade VSA, VSA 360. Green Pentagon in here. And right now, the VSA market stages has looking up. We have the uh, inflow, just now what you saw, three out of four days. Uh, we have foreign funds inflow, very, very healthy, but important to stay above the 1500 with the continuation of an uptrend. Now, let's take a look at some of the VSA 360 advanced screeners, which we talk about, right, is the uh, confirmed no supply uh, looking into the 22nd of November. But before we do that, let's take a look at some of that do came out. And uh, let's take a look at it. And let me just switch on to this market here. All right. And the first one was Inari. So one of the good things about being a premium membership of VSA 360, you get to use the trading view. Again, most of these are delayed, but of course, like me, for a small cost, you can opt it for a real time. So that gives you a very good translation in there. So you can have NS in here, right? The market's still moving. You have an uptrust, as I said before yesterday, one of the good stock is going through what we call a pullback in an uptrend. A pullback in an uptrend, which means we will see higher uh, Inari in the coming days, but it's not going down. We can see we have two gray lines here, right? Again, telling a story. Once this thing turns uh, green, the market's likely to push higher. So KKV, and you can see NS in here holding up nice level. But remember, not all of them did uh, go up higher. You can see, uh, let's take a look at uh, another one will be uh, uh, Salute, which on last week, you can see Salute, didn't turn green pentagon. As I said before, it's important that uh, we have this 
turning of the green pentagon before we take any trades you can see ns broke through it so that is like a safety guardrail so we don't commit it that's what the green pentagon especially beginner if you want to use some of the ns trade in here make sure make sure you have this green pattern let's look at mk land uh mkh not mk land huh? you can see we got our uh, ns here right ns then turn green pentagon but not ready to move higher in here again dictated by the overall sector that is coming in here uh, important to know that i think kps which is uh construction ns green pentagon goes up pull back there's a nice one here, here still in the uptrend now going to a pullback if you're not gone in that's is again another good opportunity to ride into the pullback of an uptrend so much easier to trade with pullback on the uptrend using the vsa 360 uh indicators as well what we talk about in here okay now let's take a look this week on our ns we definitely have three stocks in here rojas has started to move up but let's take a look at the uh, rojas okay and but no green pentagon so give but remember we talk about construction right some of the backdrop it's important to have the economic behind it and then we talk about it so sunway construction is pretty good if you do not have that sunway con right ns in here of course you have the up trust and the market is pulling back in here which is to me it's a very good entry point if you were to you know uh, uh take some position over here and then put your stop loss here that would be great because when it breaks below to the red uh, market stages in here that's a time to jump out. ah right if the see still in a nice uptrend in here continuation of in the chinese new in here you don't want it when the market break through here then you need to start to you know oh yeah maybe i take some position you don't want to do that all right g dp okay that's another one in here this one after and that's the nice one push back up here right you can see this was uh, a really long moving in here but after ns the market spurs through it let's take a look at how many so another ns you enter on the uh, opening here and it is 18 percent all right provided you enter on the opening so we always say before this is uh entering on the opening so okay so uh let's take a look next week maybe you'll come back and see suncon how well they uh perform as this is the uh screener advanced screener for this friday episode january 26 but we are using the 22nd because we want to see a bit of data in the backdrop do a bit of analysis a bit of education in here so many of you were able to follow it and uh, coming to our insider buying a very specialty of the vsc3 exclusively only on that one information that you can get from busa uh last episode we have was uh m a you can see huge huge, huge buying went up to 30 cents and then eventually what happens oh the market did recover back and this is some of the real benefits being an insider repair of course you may also say hey martin what happened to the small cap sell-off that we have last week on the 15th of january when we have a lot of the counter under dato doctor i think dato you uh, with vi and h rapid synergy in here <laughs> if you can check those insider buying they are still buying all right despite the losses they're still going in there and, and and buying so there is no much of a logic in here and maybe they're just you know propping up the shares as i said before part and parcel of their uh, collateral that they put into the financial institution they have to buy it you know no choice so we also have my news uh, dropping to 51 cent if you look at uh, from last week it's still holding up at this level in here so a little bit of uh b here that you see that's what we call the insider buying that was going to go mm. so let's take a look at this week insider buying mfcb now mfcb is really one of those very good stocks and i think that this longer term is a pretty good one if you go over to vsa 360 uh, let me just open this up mfcb right and you can always see that this is uh, rated 4 out of 8 if you're not familiar with rate rating anything higher than 4 that's pretty good and you can see tons and tons of a lot of a lot of institutional are buying here it will stay above 380 in here and you can see pe is only 10 times as the market go higher they may revalue the valuation of the pe just like what we did with rc capital when rc capital when i was looking at it it was only about eight or nine times but now if you look at rc capital they reevaluate back to i think 15 or oh, 16 times you see 16 times right POC was about uh eight to nine so if you look at mfcb right 
that's 10. And if the P of 10 times were to go up to uh, what we call 13 times without a change in the earnings, that means price can go up by another 30%. So you're looking right now, it's about 380 in here. That will be looking at $4 in here. Uh, what do they do? You can just mouse it over. They do uh, pretty much uh, uh, construction, limestone, and I think one of the projects was also into uh, a power generation in I think was is in Laos one of the projects that they have in there so go over to their website just click on here I think yeah I think you can just click on here uh, if not ah there's some yeah just click on this one that click on this one in here I remember right that will take you to the Megaphos, uh website which you just mouse it over in here but we'll stay where we are okay next we have is uh, uh, big you can see right at 70 cents again insider coming in to buy so next week let's see whether this is i would say likely to hold but again those of you who want to put this into your watch list again you can do it on your smart roby phone put it in there or you can what you do for those of you who have our member okay mega first couldn't get it let's go back to our website and just put it into uh big okay so for me i'll just add up to do the alert here all right you can just use the default alert create okay then that's one another one will be big okay and just step into the alert so you will get an alert notification on your email or once you log in for that one so that's really one of the uh, real benefits of having the VSA 360 now a little bit of uh, of course what's the whole point of having a V60 when you cannot make money of course I want to share with you some of our, of our success you could see from here uh, this is something I talk about when I say 10th of January and we are bring, having a nice run in here you can see some of our members top members who've been regularly following doing all the discipline small steps small step baby steps you know uh, trading you can see Lee Mayfern about 7,000 uh, 5,000 no 5,000 James who's with us well done James very proud of you in here and you can see uh, where's James? James is now number two almost uh, from uh, 5,000 to 14,000 in here, right? You can see 10,000. I actually dropped out because of VDAP. I think many of you know that I have this trade. I have to cut it at 51% loss. It's one of the trades that we do for our Pony Express, but I have to come back. So if you look at the so-called historical trading equity curve. Now, this is very important where I find many of the beginner, even as much as experience, they don't plop out the chart. So one of the things that we do in our VSA premium membership is really to see how well you perform the stocks that you do and plop this equity curve from 50,000 ringgit all the way to 65 and one of the reason why we notice is the uh, for this uh, map uh, user id 34 it made a 22 percent in january that's a very, very good you can see it pick up uh, seib again this is virtual trading it's not the representation of their real money but we want to see and really uh, look at the good things that they do in trading and also look at uh, things that they can improve and this is the whole purpose of why our member especially trade vsa does better than the average trader i'm not saying they are all are, are the best or all doing well but those who follow our live training and our live training that we do every monday has it served its purpose with the repository of what i share with you the video and the training you can get this kind of result so uh just from september almost a 30 percent return you can see 30 percent return in here doing about 84 trades right that's a lot of it another user user number uh, 57 also doing well 10% for the month of January giving it about 19% you can see a lot of their equity curve huh? right growing 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 is one especially if you have time and want to do this check out our membership in here and definitely put you in the right spot a 20% return since September and monthly return uh, this was a accumulated money return about 9% okay um, so if you just uh, divided it is pretty significant too all right something uh, that you want to know more check out the uh, you, uh, KRL code or go to a website why our members really uh, outperform the average trader and investor in here so you can see congratulations in our first series continuing our first series now we're doing a series two so we will have CV3 at the end of uh, April right so join us now or you can come in and also learn about this thing in here and uh, this is really part and legacy of our total trader where we train 
people who have no experience, if you have no experience from in here, are going through our uh, uh, very step-by-step -step methodology, what we call the supervised coaching and mentoring with all the video, I think this can be done. So one of the reasons why it is successful for our members, I'm not saying that somebody did it do, somebody did it don't, is the sharing of the stock trade idea that I do every Monday. You could see uh, we have CCK and we have Pekka, uh, they are still up. And uh, let me just share with you, if you are not convinced, uh, just go over to here, make it a bit smaller. So we have uh, Pekka, and we just follow the green pentagon in here. You can see from green pentagon to here, which is a 4.55%. Not all trade works, having said that. Trades that is uh, following our detail plan in here, we'll keep it. And the next one is CCK. Uh, the chicken, uh, <laughs> CCK space. Yeah, that's the one. And you can see from the green pentagon, immediately enter, which is 85 cents. Right, you can see here, opening price 86 cents we got in. And uh, to this morning, it is up to 10%. Not bad, so you get about 1,000% return in here. We will be exiting this trade very soon, following our plan. It's part and parcel of our back testing. And if, I will also share with you the back testing result that we have from our VSA 360 on Wednesday night. Surprising is very, very good. All right. So if you are thinking about no, knowing about your need assessment, being a, a trader who wants to be helped, who needs the, the kind of support that you have, check out our VSA 360 virtual trading room and fill in your need assessment in here. As uh, we continue to get good support from our existing member and some of you have tried us in here. Uh, we also love your feedback. And uh, right now, okay, uh, we do our usual stock pick. If you have any stock that you want me to look at, uh, feel free to pencil in and I'm happy to look at it. At least give you some support. You can also give me the US stock, not an issue too, right? All right, if there is no stocks, I bid you a good, uh, long, restful weekend in here. I'll be back on Monday for our breakfast show with Smart Roby for the KLCI market in here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button there and uh, do join our Telegram chat room for all our stock market information or follow our this channel in here or uh, through our Instagram and also uh, Telegram that you see here. Thank you for coming. I'll see you on Monday. Bye.